I asked you to go out and do research on something and to pick a method that involved interacting with people, I'm guessing that nine times out of 10, the first thing you would come up with was the idea of interviewing somebody. After all, it's pretty obvious. You want to know what people think? You ask them, right? Often a survey is the next thing. You're like, well, I want to talk to people and I want to learn about what lots of people say. So that's a survey as opposed to an interview. And so in this unit, we're going to be taking surveys and interviews together and thinking about how they relate to each other. The thing is, the distinction between a survey and an interview really is about how strict you are with the format and about how you analyze the data. Right? When we talk about interviewing, you can interview somebody with a very strict survey protocol where you ask them a series of questions in a set of orders. What you get at the end of that is data that is easily transformed into quantitative data for analysis. Okay? So if you're running a survey, the purpose of it is almost always going to be to get quantitative data. You may have free response sections that you will analyze separately, but then they kind of fall in a different sort of analysis. And inter on the other hand, you can have an unstructured or a semi-structured interview where you ask people questions and you get some ideas about what they think and you engage in a dialogue with them. Now, if you always ask the same questions in the exact same order and never vary it and don't move things around, you're essentially giving a survey through, through words, right? The same as if you'd handed them a survey and asked them to fill it out. But if you engage in a more conversational flow and move back and forth between talking about different topics, then you've got a good, then you're doing something that's more on the semi-structured or unstructured interview area. All of these areas of research involve listening to people and getting them to express what they think or what they have experienced, right? So all of the things that we talked about in the lecture on working with people in terms of making sure that you have some sense of trusting people and listening to what they say and having some sense of whether you can evaluate whether what they're telling you is correct or not, all of these things come into play with interviews and surveys. What we're going to do in this unit is you're going to think about when you might use an interview, when you might run a survey, what the difference is between them, and what would be most useful to you. I ex fully expect that every single project that comes in from the class, at least one of your proposed projects will involve either an interview or a survey. So I'm looking forward to seeing the protocols that you guys develop.